Welcome to the Process Capability Webcast. The main purpose of this webcast is to help you learn how to run capability analysis and calculate CPK and PPK using Minitab. For this webcast, we will use the sample data set called Quality. Suppose we want to evaluate the capability of our shipping process to ensure that customers receive shipments on time. 10 shipments per day are randomly selected and the corresponding delivery times are entered into Minitab. For example, here we can see the 10 delivery times for March 4th. Then in the next 10 rows, we see the delivery times for March 5th, followed by March 6th, etc. Now that we have the data arranged in chronological order, we are ready to use capability analysis to assess if this process is capable of making on-time deliveries. Since it doesn't matter if shipments arrive early, there is no lower specification limit. But we do have an upper specification limit of six because any delivery that arrives after six days is considered late. To run capability analysis in Minitab, choose Stat, Quality Tools, Capability Analysis. Minitab offers capability analysis for many different distributions, including normal, Weibull, and binomial distributions. Let's suppose we know that our delivery data follow a normal distribution, so we will select normal. In single column, we will enter our measurement data, which is in the days column. Then we will enter 10 for our subgroup size, and then we will enter our upper specification limit of six days. In the capability output, we see a histogram of the day's data, which we can visually compare to our upper specification limit of six days. We also have capability indices, which we can use to assess the capability of our process. Although there is no absolute standard for a good CPK or PPK, many organizations use a cutoff of 1.33. Whether we're evaluating CPK or PPK, we can see that both values in this analysis are above 1.33, indicating that our process is capable. Now, if you prefer to display the sigma level, we can go back to the capability analysis dialog and under options, we can choose to display benchmark Z's sigma level. In addition to capability analysis, Minitab also offers the capability six pack. When assessing capability, there are two assumptions. The first assumption is that the process is stable, and the second assumption is that we know the distribution of the data. As an alternative to presenting a control chart and a probability plot to show the distribution and the capability analysis results, you can instead use the six pack to display all three at the same time. To learn more about capability analysis, including how to interpret all of the output and how to run capability analysis for non-normal data, we offer e-learning with quality trainer and instructor-led training. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial of Minitab, please visit minitab.com.